Hi there, this is Dr. Saraswati, Ram Department of Resource Management, Amnashlingam University. Work well done is satisfying and rewarding. By and large household tasks are tedious, monotonous and time consuming requiring varied skills. Through time and motion studies, ways and means have been found of to make each job simple, easier and more satisfying. There are various work simplification techniques for analysis of work which have proved useful and can be adapted by the homemakers in their homes. These techniques are useful in making time and motion studies of work that has been done, analyzing the work methods, developing the new method to, into use. In recent years, work simplification techniques have been used by research workers in home economics. Efficient kitchen arrangements, tools, equipment storage, facilities and correct height of work surfaces, chain and tools have also been studied in due course. These studies suggest many methods of simplifying homemaking tasks which may be used or by adopted by the homemakers in their own homes. They show how motion and time studies may be applied to any work problem in home. Trying out new work patterns and adjusting them to meet a new situation add interest to the work. First we look into the components of If mechanics is defined as a science dealing with force and motion, then body mechanics is of course a science dealing with body forces and motion. The term body mechanics is itself a popularization of kinesiology which is a scientific study of movements of human body states dual. Body mechanics is of interest because of a desire to keep the homemaker's cost of work at the minimum. The physical cost of work can be too high in fatigue or even for a light work if the natural structure and the functions of the body are disregarded during the work performance. An untrained worker often will work against a body rather than letting a body work for her. The physical cost of work can then be put out of proportion to the amount of work in the technical sense of foot pounds in energy expenditure or in the discomfort strain felt. Body mechanics, although concerned chiefly with the energy setting, includes feeling of comfort and discomfort associated contracting muscle and skeleton. Among its major principles are keeping the body parts in alignment, considering the center of gravity of both body and the article to be handled, using the muscles effectively, taking advantage of the momentum and rhythm and moments. The other principles include remain close to the object, use short lever arms for better control and efficiency. Now maintain the center of gravity close to the objects or the uh, patient's uh, center of gravity, widen the base of support and the position the feet according to the direction of the movement one will use to perform the activity. Use the largest and the strongest muscle of one's arms, leg and trunk. Avoid twisting the body when one left and when whenever possible push pull, roll or slide an object rather than lifting it. When any parts get out of line, the muscular effort is required to maintain body balance in addition to whatever work the body is doing. Strains may also result. When there is a problem of maintaining balance, a broader base of support is necessary. The feet may be wide apart or parallel with one in advance of the other. Thus, while the various homemaking activities require different combination of effort, most tasks require mental, visual, manual and tossal effort of some kind and a larger number also require the pedal effort. The human energy required for the performance of any task is made up of several different parts. A certain amount of energy is needed for the maintenance of muscular tension and for the natural body processes such as respiration, circulation, secretion and excretion. This is known as resting metabolism. In addition, there is energy used in moving about and in the actual doing of the task. We will just move on to the next part of this particular syllabi that is a time study. Time study is tried and tested method of working measurement for setting basic time and hence standard time for carrying out a specified work. The aim of time study is to establish a time for a qualified worker to perform specified work under stated condition and at defined rate of working. This is achieved by a qualified practitioner observing the work, recording what is done and then timing using a time measuring device and simultaneously rating which is assessing the pace of working. 
The next one would be the motion study, which is a uh, systematic recording and critical examination of existing and proposed way of doing as a means of developing and applying easier and more effective methods and reducing cost. The aims of motion study would be to eliminate wastage and time and labor, to reduce fatigue of work by eliminating unnecessary moments, to find the best way of doing job and obtain greater job satisfaction, to utilize effectively man, machine and material, to improve the factory and offices layout and also design the plant equipment and the building, to standardize the method obtained after conducting the motion study, to train the worker as per standardized method, to provide better working conditions and the environment. Now, motion study is, is designed to determine the best way to complete a repetitive job. Time study measures how long it takes an average worker to complete the task at a normal pace. We move on to the time and the motion study or time motion study which is a business efficiency technique combining time study work and of Frederick Winslow Taylor with motion study work of Frank Lillian Gilbert. Time and motion study analysis of operations requires to produce a manufactured article in a factory with the aim of increasing the efficiency. Each operation is studied minutely and analyzed in order to eliminate unnecessary motion and thus reduce the production of time and raise the output which increases the productivity. The first effort of time study was made by F. W. Taylor in 1880s. Early in the 20th century, Frank and Lillian Gilbert developed a more systematic and sophisticated method of time and motion study for industry, taking into account the limits of human physical, mental capacity and the importance of a good physical environment. Time and motion study have to be used together in order to achieve rational and reasonable results. It is particularly important that effort be applied in motion study to ensure equitable results when time study is used. Motion study can be considered the foundation for the time study. The time study measures the time required to perform a given task in accordance with specified method and is valid only so long as the method is continued. Once a new work method is developed, the time study must be changed to agree with the new method. Now, what could be the purpose of time and motion study? The main objective of time and motion study is to determine reliable time standards for the efficient and effective management of operations. Through the establishment of, rel of reliable and accurate time standards, companies can better define their capacity or output, thus increasing the efficiency of equipment, obtaining optimum utilization of the workforce. The objective of the time and motion study is to determine the normal or average time for a job by using observers to record exactly how much time is being devoted to each task. Now, who is this Frank Bunker Gilbert? He was actually an early advocate of scientific management and a pioneer of motion study. Gilbert sought to make a process more efficiently by reducing the motions involved. Gilbert named the motions as Stubling. Gilbert spelled backwards the Stubling transport. He used a motion picture camera that was calibrated in fractions of minutes of time. A time and motion study would be used to reduce the number of motions in performing a task in order to increase the productivity without sacrificing the quality. He experimented on bricklaying. He reduced the number of motions from 18 to 5. A Stubling, the name of for one of the set of fundamental motions required for a worker to perform the manual operation of task. We have also presented on the table the symbols, the color, the thurbling symbol for, for various activities which has been followed. Search. The time and attention required varies with the number of dimension in which the search is performed. Gilbert's reducing search was by arranging tools and path in the physical sequence of use through, through the packet principle. The first one would be fine. Fine can be considered a demarcation line denoting the end of the search cycle. Select the retention of an object after it has been grasped and no movement of the object taking place. 
a grasp of an object occurring in one hand while the other hand performing the use or the assemble function. Transport loaded begins after the grasp when the hand is doing the work by moving the weight of an object and ends when just before the release load use or assemble. Transport empty, this is the motion of moving the unloaded hand from the point of release load to the next function within the sequence. Position, the motion is the act of placing the object in the proper orientation for use. Assemble starts when two or more parts are placed together and ends when either the assembled object is transport loaded or when the hand reaches for the other part. Use is when an object is being operated as it is intended and typically denotes a tool. Disassemble, this motion is essentially the opposite of assemble. It could also be the act of removing a part from the jet or clamp which held the part during the use or assemble the motion. Inspect, the act of comparing the object with predetermined standard. Preposition, this is the motion of replacing an item in the proper orientation for its next use. Release load, this motion involves releasing the object when it reaches its destination. Unavoidable delay is measured from the point where a hand is inactive to the point where it becomes active again. Avoidable delay, this counterpart to avoidable delay Sorry, this counterpart to unavoidable delay involves inactive time the worker encounters over which he or she has control. Inspection of the body parts. Plan, mental function which may occur before the assemble or prior to the inspection, noting which flaws to look over. Rest to overcome fatigue. This doubling is actually a lack of motion and is only found where a rest is prescribed by the job or taken by the worker. Now what could be the procedure for motion study? First one is to select and define the work to be studied and thereby the objective to be achieved. Records, the fact about existing method should be clearly recorded by using the following recording techniques. We actually have four types of recording technique of which the first one includes the chart. Under the chart, we have outline process chart, flow process chart, two hand process chart, multiple activity chart and travel chart. The next one would be diagrams. Under this, flow diagram, string diagram, cycle graph and chronograph. Third is motion and film analysis. We have Simo chart and PMTS. The last one would be layout models where we have two dimensional model and three dimensional model. The third one would be the critical examination question E detail of the job. The fourth one develop a new method after de examining all the facts and analysis of results a better way of doing an activity can be developed. Fifth one would install the new method. After having developed the method, this is required to install. The new method must be got approved from the supervisors, workers and the management. Then the worker must be trained to do the work according to the new product. Sixth one, maintain a new method. Once a new method has been installed, it should be maintained in its specified from and the worker should not be allowed to slip back to the old method or introduce any other unauthorized changes. What could be the principles of motion economy? The set of rules were designed by Gil Gilbert in order to develop better methods. A better method of doing job is one which consumes minimum time and energy in performing the limb which means the hand, foot, leg and arm etc. motions in order to complete the task and this is possible only by economizing the use of motion. The rules of human motions are presented by Gilbert, were rearranged and amplified by Barnes, Laurie, Burr and Maynard and others. The various rules are as follows. 1. Rules concerning the human body. 2. Rules concerning the workplace and the material handling. 3. The rules concerning the tools and the equipment. Let's look into the first one, the rules concerning the human body. The two hands should begin and to complete their movement at the same time. The two hands should not be idle at the same time excepting during the period of rest. Motion of the arm should be symmetrical, opposite direction and simultaneous. Motion should be simple and involve minimum number of limbs. It is very desirable for the worker to employ momentum to assist himself where the same is not to be overcome. 
motion should be smooth and continuous and they should not involve frequent stop and directional changes ballistic movements example or the typical ones would be the free swing swinging movements are faster easier and more accurate than the restricted or the controlled movements a walker may use a mechanical aids to assist him to overcome the muscular effort walk movement should be rhythmical and automatic if possible we move on to the next one we move on to the next one that's a rule concerning the workplace and the material handling there should be a definite fixed and easily accessible location for materials and tools materials tools and other mechanical devices should be kept close to the workplace gravity feet bends and containers should be used to deliver the material as close to the point of use as possible tools and materials should be located within the maximum working area and near to the workplace material and tools should be arranged to permit best sequence of motion good illumination is necessary for proper seeing fast operating and reducing accidents in order to reduce fatigue the seating arrangements of the worker should be comfortable and adjustable all heavy parts should be lifted by mechanical devices the next one would be rules concerning the tools and equipment two or more tools should be combined whenever possible and preferably tools and materials should be replaced and located near the working place it saves time or otherwise wasted in searching and bringing the tools for doing the job and there should be maximum surface contact in between the tool and the hand and it helps proper application of hand force and minimizes fatigue work simplification is defined as the use of equipment ergonomics functional planning and behavior modification to reduce the physical and the psychological stresses on the body activities at home or at work by reducing the physical demands on the body during the task as to uh, acts to preserve the joints and reduce the risk of injury or re-injury simpler techniques of work simplification for the purpose of influencing the homemakers towards becoming more motion minded the elaborate techniques for industries are out of place popularized forms of research films are of course a good for arousing interest but the detailed analysis of film is impractical for homemakers at a more practical level level certain simpler techniques of study are possible at the turn of 20th century when industry became more interested in the efficiency of labor the young housewives of two efficiency engineers brought about the idea of improving work methods to into the home under various names and the last of which is work simplification the term work simplification as used in the home is of far of reaching nature than in industry and may even include omitting a task in its entirely Now work simplification implies a conscious effort to seek out the easiest quickest and the simple method of doing any task it implies the use of least of time effort and energy in carrying out the task to completion this could be achieved either by the use of labor saving the equipment and devices such as mixers grinders cookers washing machines and vacuum cleaners dishwashers etc by simplifying the technique of doing the work now research by the way the time and motion studies have revealed that the task could be made less uh, time and energy consuming through the adoption of certain techniques and planning mundel has actually listed five levels by which the work could be simplified and they include one changes in body position and motion two changes in tools and working arrangement and equipment three changes in production sequence four changes in the finished product and five would be changes in the raw material now what are the techniques which is been used in the work simplification attention was first focused on the work simplification through research carried on and in the industrial field motion and time studies have showed the improvement in the methods of work not only eliminated useless motion but also saved time and energy for the worker Work simplification research consists of making motion and time studies of the work as it is being done, analyzing the work method, developing the easiest and the most effective way to do the task, and putting the new method into use. The three techniques used for motion and time studies are process chart, operation chart, micro motion film analysis. of which the first one would be the process chart now the process chart is a step by step description of method used in doing the task it shows the flow of movement of work and the worker and is most helpful in calling attention to unnecessary steps and motion it is an overall investigation it requires at least two people to make the process chart one to do the task and the other one to observe and record 
the time is relatively unimportant as the focus is upon the flow of work. The chart helps you visualize the sequence of an activity and for charting home tasks, the worker is followed throughout. It is customary in this method of research to perform the chart of the same task in an original and in a revised way. The count of symbol of the original way often indicates at glance where improvement may be made. The different motion used to handle the work are observed and recorded. The analysis at the end of the work points out extra motions and which is used and which can be eliminated to improve the method of work. On to the table we have like uh, one on the, uh, the symbols which is being used for the chart and the other is the process chart which is used to set a table as an example is being pointed out. The next one would be the operation chart. The operation chart is used in making a more detailed study of some particular part of the process. The operation chart is similar to that of a process chart except to that it picks up one particular step in the whole process and breaks it down into the work of each hand and shown in parallel columns. In this chart, the movements are broken down into the activities of both right and the left hand. The final analysis shows where unnecessary motions are being made and where delays occur in the work. Both process and the operation chart are useful in, are useful in motion and time study techniques. They require no uh, special equipment and their use produces astonishing results. Now the uses of operation chart, it helps us to be more motion and time conscious. It helps us to sharpen one's power of observation, to record in sequence the elemental movements of hands of a worker at a given station and analysis of chart gives us a basis for reducing transportation at the lowest degree possible. Motion economy, both hands should do useful work at the same time starting and stopping together. Hands should be freed of any work that could be done by the other part of the body. Arm motion should be simultaneously and opposite and symmetrical direction. Use the fewest and shortest and simplest motion. Eliminate body motion that is unproductive. Eliminate unnecessary walking, reaching, stretching and bending. Use the available equipment that is best for the job. Foot utensils and equipment should be located close to the point of use. Arrange work, tools and materials in the sequence of use. Combine operations and eliminate all unnecessary parts of the job. The next one would be micro motion film analysis. So micro motion film analysis is primarily a research technique uh, and applies best to the task that can be easily be filmed. Now motion pictures of tasks done under normal conditions make a permanent record that can be analyzed and charted to show the work of the hands or the other parts of the body used in the operation. By uh, means of timing device, the time of each movement of the worker can be accurately recorded. The cycle graph, a photographic device, is also used to study types of motion used in performing tasks. When this is attached to some portion of the body, such as the hand, when ironing is being done, it registers a pathway of light projected by small electrical bulb. The resulting record shows whether they move and whether the movement is smooth and rhythmic. This is an effective way to learn how motions may be reduced and how methods of work may be improved in doing a task. One of the newest device now being tested is the cyclochrono cycle graph. By using a small light on the middle finger of each hand, the patterns of simple and intricate tasks can be photographed and recorded on a film. The next one would be the path chart. The pathway chart is a simple device for making a motion and time study in the home. A float plan is actually drawn to scale and fastened to a drawing board or a wall board. Pens and threads are all that is needed to make such a study. The pathway chart actually focuses the analysis on the overall amount of travel, retracing of steps and the pen and string method of making the pathway chart was actually being suggested by Mrs. Gilbert. Application of performance improvement. Eliminate unnecessary operations, delays and moves. Co combine operations. Change in the sequence of operation. Reorganize the equipment. Improvements uh, in the design of equipment. Reduction in the movement of material and equipment. And use of different products were actually found out by the using these type of charts. To conclude, time and work reduce in ideas, work simplification and motion mindedness may be used by everyone.
work simplification is a conscious seeking of simplest easiest and quickest method of doing work motion minus again is an awareness of the motions involved in doing a task and an interest in possible ways to of reducing them a busy homemaker who wants to free more energy for certain activities the employed homemaker indeed needs to lighten her home workload and the disabled homemaker who must learn to conserve her energy can use all these principles and techniques of work simplification studies of homemaking tasks and indicate that change and improvement in work methods are possible in every home it is a responsibility of the employees to use good mechanics body mechanics and maintain a healthy lifestyle habits to prevent injury